my name is Helen Hancox. I'm the author and illustrator of William Heads to Hollywood. I have some little books at home that I made probably when it's like five or six. Like one of them's like Helen's family Christmas. So it's just like what I did on Christmas day. I think that's probably the first thing I can imagine in like a book form. But oh, I don't know, maybe at school. I'm trying to think if there was anything specific, but mainly that Christmas one, I would say, because I've still got that somewhere. It's terrible. Oh, it probably will never see the light of day. It's so boring. It's like, I come down the stairs, there's some presents to open, that kind of thing. So yeah, probably when I was about five or six, I would think. I've always drawn, but um, I went to university and did um, illustration uh, with animation and then sort of carried on from there. It was like, I wanted to originally be like a fashion designer or a photographer, but I realized I could not keep up with fashion. And like, you have to be like two years ahead of everything. I'm like, I'm not that organized. So like with illustration, at least you get to like do your own clothes and like things within that. And it, like you can appropriate it to different things. So I was like, that is the route for me. I really like the props department just because I got to put loads of like film references in because I love films and old movies so that was like really fun and the party scene actually is my favorite um it was a real pain to do like I ended up with like a claw hand because it took me like a week to paint everyone in um but it was really fun because some of them are like real actors um like from old films and like references to different things so yeah and also the little um sugar mice were fun to paint and there's a I'm really annoyed though there was like a, a really um, nice green um, jelly um, I'd done on the table of food but when I painted it it was in the middle and everything forgetting that that's where the crease was so if you look carefully in the crease there's a really nice jelly on the table so yeah that's one of my favorite bits anyone who likes uh, capers like not the food capers the crime capers um, cats old films, everyone from like, I guess not to 100, anyone, yeah. One of the things like a tutor at university said like, you only get um, out what you put in, so I guess that's sort of a good life lesson, like I try and put everything that I want in a book, because then it will be something I'm proud of, um, and also I think you'll know if it's not like, Perfect. Well, it's never going to be perfect. You could, I could probably change so much in that book, but it sort of to a level where I'm happy to see it on a shelf. Well, one of my favourite things. Um, so the first William book, um, I went to a school, um, a, like a school visit, and they'd taken the book and done it for their class project for the term. So I guess like six, eight weeks, they'd been looking at it and they'd done. Um, they had a mini trip to, well, a fake mini trip in their classroom to Paris. They tried croissants, like learnt about different artists. Uh, they'd like took the words that they'd not known and used them in like story um, books they'd made. They'd done their own writing. They learnt about architecture, all these things from my book. And I was like, that's like one of the best responses when they've taken it further than you ever thought. Like it's lovely when people read it, but when they've learn even more from it, it's like a bit mind blowing. I was like really pleased and proud. I was like, wow. <laughs> so William is a real cat. He belongs to my cousin in England um, and he is a really handsome, like black and white uh, fluffy cat. And I was just visiting one day. I was like, yeah, I'd like to know what you'd get up to. And it started being like, I wanted to go traveling myself so I was like maybe I can just use the cat as my sort of alter ego and he can do the traveling and then it was like well, what would he do and then it came to be like more about like him solving something and then there's got to be some mysteries but like I don't know behind him and so it just stuck the international cat of mystery I don't know it sounded good um and then yeah and then I was like oh Paris would be fun and then it was like the whole art um cheese sort of what is I don't know, famous in Paris. And then the Hollywood one, because I like film, came about because of that. Um, so yeah, but he is a real cat and he says hello. <laughs>